guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do a panda palette update and this is for june yes the june update i'm going to update you on my panning solitaire that i'm doing with the fantastic ladies and that is created by erin and i will have them all linked down below in the description box so you can check them out and we are panning eyeshadows <laughs> in pairs like single duo trio if you have followed along this series you would know and if not you should check out the other updates felix felix i am just working on my singles this year and if you have followed along my project this year you would know that i have frankened a lot of shadows and i have turned them into a quite a lot Felix, in that bag, that is all the clothing that I have just moved out of my closet because I can't fit anymore. I don't think you have seen my bump, but it's quite big at the moment. <laughs> so apparently Felix thinks that bag is interesting with clothing. My panda palette, I've done a lot of franking this year and I'm quite happy about what I've done. Distracting much. So let me show you guys what my palette was looking like last month compared to now. It is looking a lot different and I will explain why in a minute. This is what my palette or shadows are looking like right now. From Sunday to Monday last week, when I was supposed to film this, Felix decided to do some terror on my makeup table. He knocked this down from my makeup table and closed, obviously. Luckily, thank God. Shadow was everywhere and I will insert the picture. It was a disaster. I had some crumbling from a bronzer that I wanted to repress. That crumbled <laughs> all over the place. Plus this single or part of the duo right here. I just repressed it all. <laughs> I just repressed it. Let's just take it from an end and I will explain at the way what I did. My single was this one. It was a cream shadow from Benefit called Me Buff. It was part of a trio um, from a holiday set, which is a part of these two uh, shadows right here, which is the duo in this project. This one broke as well. So I mixed these two and some greens and I made this franking shadow right here. There's a lot of product in here, but I frankened some greens that i was working on anyway and i really wanted to make them into a shimmer mixing a dark green and a light green and a rose gold and a cream which made this lovely forest uh, grass olive green kind of type of shade i don't know what to call it but i really really like it it's still wet so it might go lighter which i wouldn't mind to be honest but yes these two shadows are done when this is done I'm not mad about it, to be honest, but I'm pretty excited to have this green in my palette now so I can mix my looks if I want purple, pink or green. Well, I have been wearing those colors all year, so why not just keep going? I still have the taupe from the duo, so the single kind of done, but yes, I still have that one. And from the rose gold and the taupe, I have made these two pregnant shadows here. The rose gold is in the pink and the taupe is in the purple so far. So when these three Franken shadows are done, I have finished the single half of the duo he pan on the taupe, which is pretty nice, I think. I do think you can see some progress on the two Franken shadows here, the pink and the purple. And yes, then we have the trio pale I mixed into a bronzer. I will show you in a minute. And then we ha still have pan on this mid-tone brown. I was considering mixing this into the bronzer, to be honest. Um, and a part of this one as well, because I just don't feel like wearing those. But I have used these two in my outer corner and crease a few times this month. So maybe you can see some progress, maybe you can't. But I will do some close-ups so you can see 
any kind of progress. So the bronzer of that fell out and crumbled everywhere in my palette and that I frankened this light one right here into. It is this one right here. That's not a lot of product, but yeah, I just frankened it. So it's almost kind of dry already because it's a light layer. It's not very deep or anything. There's not that much in it, but I thought why not just make it a bronzer. Yeah, I didn't care for that light brown anyway in my palette, so why not just franking the shit out of my palette, palette this year and make my own shadows? Apparently, because I... Uh, yeah, I have enough. I have more than enough eyeshadow and even though I make new shadows. Yeah, it does make sense. So I don't know if there's much else to talk about in my palette other than I really hope you enjoyed and you're excited for next month. I have no idea what my goal is going to be because I'm, I'm pretty sure that I can't hit pan on this one. This is just too deep um, of a pan, not the color itself. But I would love for to finish like a quarter or a half, at least hit side pan on this pink franken shadow. Maybe even the same on the purple and that would be nice. But I don't know what else my goal would be because I have a lot of shadow here. Maybe the goal for next update is to finish this bronzer because then I can call this one done. The light, the light brown shade. Which would be nice. I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out the other ladies if you haven't already. They're doing so great and I'm just over here franking the shit out of my palette so everyone gets confused. But I'm having fun and I don't know if I'm going to end it. Because it's, there's not much of my original shadows left. <laughs> they're, they're mixed up. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And until my next one, please take care.